Hello and welcome back to Gary Close Flying. After a quite long, we are back with a new and interesting video on how to start this Douglas MD82. In this video, I will be covering the full and complete details on how to cold and dark start this aircraft. And at the end of this video, I will be sharing some cool and interesting features of this aircraft. So just stay with us till the end of this video. Let's get started. So we are now in the cockpit of this aircraft. Now the first thing we need to turn on is the batteries, which is located up here. Now this panel might look very much congested and filled with a lot of buttons, but you just need to remember this. So you can just divide it between two columns, left and the right, and fire rows in this way. You can see in the image. Now, for turning on the batteries, it is located in the left column and the third row, which is right here. This button looks like a screwdriver. So just turn this batteries on. Next, we need to turn on the external power, which is located up here, all the way up here. Here. Now you can see the aircraft has now power and all the equipments will be glowing by now. Oh, not all. Only lights are on. Shuffle current. Now next, turn on this bus tire for the external power. You can see a blue light appears here which shows the external power is now available. So turn the left and the right bus tire. Now you need to turn on the fuel pump which is located in the fourth row, left column, that's right up here, which is now on, okay. The next, we need to turn on the APUs of this aircraft. Now the APU is located in the left column and the third row, which is right here. You can see a box type structure here. Uh, if you're a fan of Boeing aircraft, you might be thinking where is the APU, which is generally located below, somewhat here. But we have something different here. It's actually here. Now turn on the APU. Press and hold it for at least 5-10 seconds. And you can see the pressure gauges and the EGT. Let it stabilize. Meanwhile, you can consider subscribing to my channel for more interesting videos and daily facts in the form of shots. And also follow us on different social medias, just like Instagram, Twitter, and etc. So you can see it's now getting stabilized. Okay, it's now stabilized. So next, we need to turn on the air conditioning coolers. It's right up here. We turned it on. The next is galley power, which is located right here. And we have turned it on. Now, the next thing is in the fifth row. Uh, let's zoom in to the fifth row and... This is the no smoke symbol. You can put it to auto and seat belt symbols also to auto. And you can put the heat to the captain mode. And you can see as we put this, this light goes off. Uh, this screen tells you the procedure what you need to do to start in order to start this aircraft. You can also turn on the anti fog and anti ice if required for your flight and your weather conditions are in that way. Now, a very interesting thing is this cross feed which is hidden very back. So cross feeds are hidden right here. So you can turn it on by putting the lever up. 
so it's now on. I don't know why they added it here, but it's hidden here. <laughs> the next thing is hydraulic pumps. Now it is also hidden very nicely. In the co-pilot side, towards your left, out of four buttons, only one will be working, and that's this one. You need to turn that on. That's it, here my hydraulic pumps are on. Now it's time to turn off the external power. Turn off the external powers. And also the external bus bar. Before that, you need to turn on the APU bus bar and then turn off the external bus bar. Now it's done. Now it's time to start our engines. For that, you can see the left corner and the fourth row where you can see this fuel tanks you need to you need to turn on all the fuel tanks put this ignition to system a and then the left engine press and hold for at least five ten seconds Now, you need to turn on the fuel float, which is right here. Just drag up. Behind the throttle, you can find this. This was it. We turned it on. And you can see all these things. It is getting stabilized. Let the left engine get stabilized. And then we will turn on the right engines. Okay, it's not stabilized. Let's turn on the right engines. We will again go to the left column and the first row. Put this on. Let's zoom in here. Now again press and hold the right startup pump. Again hold it for 5 10 seconds. That's it. Now put this right fuel flow valve to on in this way. Now let the engine stabilize. <laughs> now do this procedure a bit faster. As soon as you leave this, just quickly go and put the fuel flow on. Meanwhile, you can see this. These are the control for lightings on the wing. Blood lights, anti collision lights, strobe lights, we need to on all this. It's now time to turn on the engine generators, which is located which is located right up here. You can find this in the left column and the second row. And turn on this. And that's how you start your Douglas MD eighty two. Now you can see this is actually a mirror and not a compass right here. Did they die? This compass is not mounted here. It's actually mounted behind the first officer's seat, which is right here. 
you can see this is is mounted right here and that's a mirror which shows you all those things now the most interesting thing of this aircraft is hidden behind first we need to open this door which opens in this way here is the cabin doors you can open it if you want we need to get to the last of this aircraft here are the other things let's go and this back here is actually a hidden door you can open this and you can see it gets open now there is a hidden staircase to escape this aircraft in the case of emergency wait just wait on me see it gets unfold now let's walk out of this in the bed what the hell why did i spare case <laughs> and you can see we can go out a hum and we actually came out of the aircraft with this hidden door Uh, let me put the view to the external circle so it's much more easier for us to watch it so you can see we came out of this Let's get back to the cockpit. Here we can do something interesting. Just pull the levers back and go to external view. As you can see, there's a levers just to get up. If we put off the parking brakes, actually goes in the reverse direction. Let's put the parking brakes. Oh, it did a very. And also, there are a few more things. You can actually open this doors, and that can be done from this point. You go this here, and some Kindia, and below this empty thing. Now, now you can see this. Now these doors are open, and you can enjoy seeing this 